we started Spoonville um, in Australia after we saw um, my friend Helen Dewar um, start hers on the Isle of Mull in Scotland. Um, and that's where we used to live. Um, and she copied it from a lady called Karen Vass in England and she was the original, um, the original Spoonville. Um, Karen started it to help um, the mental health of children during lockdown in her area. So she just decided to, um, yeah, to create a couple of spoons and put a sign out, find a nice green area where everyone could access it. And then I started mine in Australia. Okay, so the idea is that um, you find a green space and you put up a sign saying Spoonville. Um, so everyone knows that it's there. We have a little list of rules um, and then you create your own spoon. So a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon and you turn that spoon into a character. So it can be a dog or a native animal or it can be a person or someone famous so we've had a few um, little puns um, that people have made like Reese with a spoon. Now there is 33 um, spoon bills and as of last night um, Australia just overtook Scotland so we've now got more <laughs> more spoon bills than them so the competition's on. Um, yeah so that's it. that first lockdown we had quite a few start here um, on the outskirts of Melbourne as well so we had Drew and and Garfield and ours, which is in Mongwari. Lockdown number two for Melbourne's made everyone want something new to do. Um, so now it's all over the southeast um, suburbs mainly so far. And when they go out on their daily exercise, um, they can put their spoon down or have a look at what new spoons are there. So it's really good for the kids to walk past and just see, um, see what's happened and it changes every day. Um, just makes everyone happy and um, hopefully increases mental health of everyone during a tough time. So.